Hi, you're in public spot, and this is DevScoops, a rapid show and tell on tools and practices and cloud technology in general. If this tickles your fancy, click the subscribe button. So let's get into it. In the previous set of DevScoops episode, I looked at Google Firebase, GitHub Pages, and Netlify to publish a static React website. Today, I'm going back to basics. This use case does not necessarily fit with static websites, but what would it take to make my sample web application run on a Docker container? So let's head to my VS Code and explore this. I'm going to use the same repository from the setup for Netlify, GitHub Pages, and Google Firebase with today's exercise. And so I need to make sure that I have the latest code locally by running Git pool. And then I'll create a branch for today's changes. To start the actual work, I'll head over to my VS Code Explorer and in the root of my repository, I'll create my Docker file. As a base image, I will be using a node Docker image from AWS Public ECR Gallery. And on this Docker configuration file, I will create a custom directory where I will place my React web application. The next step is to copy my package.json into this Docker configuration file. But before I do that, let me point out something. I installed node modules to be able to push my web artifacts to GitHub pages, Netlify, and Firebase. And so if I go to my package.json and all the way to the dependencies section, I don't need this CLI node modules to be shipped inside my Docker container. So what I need to do is move all of these modules outside of the main dependencies into dev dependencies. So let me head to my VS Code terminal. And then I will run pnpm install with the dash d switch to indicate that the modules are dev dependencies. And now if I go back to my package.json, all the CLI modules are no longer in the dependencies section. And if I scroll all the way to the end of this file, all those node modules are now moved inside the dev dependencies. Now, if I go back to that dependencies section, the testing modules inside the dependencies section are actually not relevant to the application itself. So I also need to move all of this inside the dev dependencies. And now that that's done, let me head back to my Docker file. And now I can add the directive to copy my package.json and install my web application. And after the installation, I can now copy the rest of the contents in my repository into the Docker image. If this directive is run, all the files inside my repository will be copied into the Docker image that I'm creating. And to make sure I don't include any unnecessary files, I will head to my VS Code Explorer, and then I'll copy this git ignore file, and then rename this file to Docker ignore. And now back to my Docker file. I will use a non-root user inside the container. By default, my React web application opens up port 3000 when started, so I need to expose this port. And then I'm going to add a default command to start my web application. And now I'm ready to build my Docker image. So I'll head to my terminal and then run Docker build. The Docker build has run successfully. And my Docker image has been created successfully as well. And now let me try to start a container. This log is showing an error on missing permission to write into the node modules directory. So how do I fix this? So firstly, let me cancel this and then go back to my Docker configuration file. What I need to fix this is to implement a multi-layer approach on this Docker configuration file. So firstly, I will name my base layer and call it base. And then right before setting the user, I will create a new layer that will use the previous layer as base. And then I will copy the entire user source app directory into this new layer and set the owner of the directory to node. And now I'm going back to my terminal and run Docker build again. My Docker image has been rebuilt successfully. So now I'm going to start the container again. And the error message is gone. So now let me switch to my browser and then access my web application locally on port 3000. 
and the page loads perfectly fine. And that's it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Until next time, see ya.